when your team gets swept and you still lit. <laughs> yes, sir! Hawks, baby! Hawks! 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 <laughs> anyway, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man, and this is Rich's Kicks. What's happening with y'all today? The Hawks lost. So, y'all go back a couple of videos ago. Well, I forgot which video. Which video was that? Was that, that was when I did my um, my grill video, the uh, unboxing for the uh, LeBron Eye Cannons. I said, I already said it. I celebrated so much when we beat the Celtics because I knew that that would probably be my last time getting to celebrate for an ATL team. Well, to get to celebrate for the Hawks this year. I already knew that was my last time to celebrate, man. I knew it. I even said in that video that we was probably going to get swept like we did last year. Um, we made two games, like, you know, close. Not really close, but just competitive. Two games of the, out of the series competitive. The other two was kind of like blowouts. One of them was a big blowout where they set records against us and everything, man. So everybody hit me up talking about Rich. Is you finished? Is you done? I already seen all this stuff coming. I, I mean, because I celebrated so much we beat the Celtics. But I even said in that video, I, I, I made that statement that, move over a little bit, center. Yeah, I made that statement that um I knew it was going to get swept. You know, the Hawks need a lot of work. They need a lot of stuff. They need a superstar. I feel like they need a superstar. They need heart. They need them. I mean, I would have started knocking dudes down. I'm, I mean, I, I mean nothing against Cleveland, but especially a game where they were hitting all them threes, man. I would have started fouling. I would have started just. I would, man. I would have played rough. I would have played like '90s style basketball, man. Cause you just avoid so much embarrassment. Act like you actually care about the fact that you just don't sit there and all like, wow, they just blowing us out. But anyway, man, that my, that's my team. That that's how my team went. Um, got swept by Cleveland two years in a row in the playoffs, and they beat us like I think Cleveland beat us ten games straight. Uh, you know, in all, you know, ever since LeBron been back, we we just can't we can't buy a win against Cleveland. But anyway, yes, um, congratulations to Cleveland. You know, I'm not a sore loser, man. I like LeBron James. Y'all know I got LeBron kicks and everything. Big LeBron James fan and stuff like that. I actually like Kyrie. I like a lot of their players. They just happen to be in the Eastern Conference, and they beating up on my house all the damn time. So anyway. Um, y'all comment below who y'all got in the playoffs. I mean, in the finals. Who y'all got going to the finals? You know, all these injuries going around in the NBA is crazy this year. People play harder, I mean, when they get down to the bottom of it and of the season and that's when all those injuries come but anyway that's not the purpose of this video just a little sports talk at the beginning go hawks still atl man till i die man atl falcons hawks braves i even like georgia tech but i really like georgia bulldogs even though they in atlanta they not in atlanta I always been a bulldogs fan but anyway when the sports talk aside the purpose of this video is the cop that i got recently i put a vlog up actually the vlog will probably go up before this video yeah, so this video is going to go up. I'm going to try to get this video up after the vlog. I already got the vlog recorded, so I might as well put that up first. But um, I went to Heat ATL, black bag action. <laughs> it's a new uh, sneaker consignment slash retail shop in Atlanta. They get sneakers. They're a consignment. They get sneakers and not consignment. I'm not really sure if they got a Nike account or not, but I know they had a lot of sneakers that was actually not consignment, and these were not consignment. Maybe they order them from the restock. Um, on Nike.com was a restock these a few days ago, and y'all know I've been looking for these for a while. Um, thumbnail action. What do y'all think about that? How about this? I'm cool. I'm swag. Hawks. Nah. Just thumbnail action. Anyway. <laughs> uh, better late than never. Better late than never. Uh, first of all, I got them from Heat ATL. Like I said, it's a new. Man, they put CDs, mixtapes, and everything in this bag, man. So y'all check them out. But it's a new, um... Sneaker uh, consignment slash, it's just a boutique, man. Sneaker boutique, Heat ATL. Um, Y'all look them up on Facebook and Instagram, H-E-E-T ATL. And HeatATL.com, very legit place. I've been there, it's, it's dope. It says buy, sell, trade, and consignment. So they do all of those. Um, that was the address right there. And this is... Yeah, they got a couple of events going on that they invited me to um, um, come out there and see what's going on with them boys. We needed a spot like this in Atlanta. I know a lot of other cities got spots like that, and I'm glad that them boys brought that to the A like that. Um, so these are the uh, Air Jordan 4 Retro LS Oreo 4 Action Black Tech Gray and Black. They are retail for $190, y'all know, and I paid $250. Probably could have gotten cheaper than that on eBay or something like that, but hey, they was right there. They was dead stock, brand new. I had to get them. One of them was wrapped in plastic. I already took it out. 
But um, not gonna do a crazy review. Y'all already seen this shoe. Y'all know what it is, but I'm glad I was finally able to get them. Bow! Yes, sir. Tumbled leather action, man. Yes, sir. Uh, love this shoe. Didn't get it when it first released because my wife pretty much told me to slow down on buying sneakers. I bought like six pairs of shoes in like two weeks. And she was like, you need to slow down. And then when these dropped, I was like, well, I'm getting them. And she was like, no, you're not getting those. And I'm like, but babe. And I had just got the Columbia Forest too. And she was like, you're not getting those. So um, I had to wait for a while to get them. But they dope. Sometimes you got to do what your old lady say, man. When you're married, y'all going to learn that. You got to do what your old lady say. Plus, she keep me. If it weren't for her, I probably would buy every shoe. I probably would buy every Jordan. Like, even the colorways that I don't even care about that much, I probably would cop. So, I'm glad she there to keep me level-headed. Um, y'all know what this shoe look like, though. Love that tech gray on there. Uh, kind of remind me of the cement gray on the uh, cement fours. Um, and I love the leather. Y'all already know this leather on these. That tumble. It's sick. Everybody who I see that has this shoe, they say they can rock it a thousand times and it still look good. This is that purse leather. This is that pocketbook leather. Your grandmama purse in church leather. Baby, give me a peppermint. I'm going to get a peppermint for you out my purse. That's, that's, that's what kind of leather this is. But um, very sick. Mm, smell very good. Woo, that smell. They had to get these from the restock. They still smell like they just fresh out the store, man. Um, they had to get these from that Nike restock. But anyway, that's these, man. Um, I know y'all done seen these before on feet, but um, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all these on feet again. So I know y'all want to see them on feet, so let me let y'all go on ahead and check these out on feet, man. Do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Air Jordan 4 Oreo LS action, man. Yeah, man. Got one loose for y'all and got one tied up for y'all. I don't know. I like them. I like them both ways, actually. Um, cleansed, in my opinion, though. Cleansed, in my opinion. Uh, let's do some walk away. Let's do some walk away. How about we do some walk away? Yeah, man. Got these jeans. This is my first time actually putting these jeans on. Um, it's a little biker cargo kind of swag going on with these jeans. Um, they're called Decibel. Got them from Jimmy Jazz. So, I don't know. They fit aight. They fit aight over the shoes, I think. You know? Uh, cleansed, in my opinion. Love these Oreo 4s. Very cleansed. Very nice. Get some booty, man. Can't do it without no booty. Some ass. Yeah, man. Good. Get a little walk by. A little walk by. Get you some. If you ain't already got them, get you a pair, man. Yes, sir. So uh, that's these real quick on feet. I want to show y'all. Um, birds chirping. Uh, anyway, I hate that shadow, man. Let's get out of that shadow. I don't know. I want to do a round view, but the shadow has messed me up early in the morning. Um, Anyway, cleanse. That's those on feet. As y'all can see. Love this shoe. This shoe right here, I can see myself wearing a lot. Very wearable shoe. Color. Wear very well, but you can wear it with a lot of stuff. Any kind of pants. Jeans, joggers, whatever. And um, just, and then, like you said, like I said, you wrinkle them up, wear them a few times, they still look good, man, because they got that good leather, which I wish they would pay that much attention when they first started and doing that remaster. Just did all the shoes like that. They kind of started off good and slowed down. But anyway. That's neither here or there. Y'all keep on watching my videos. I hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe. We at 100K. Yes, sir. Keep watching my videos, man, because that's what I'm here for. Go on.